Thanks, Sarah. Isn't she amazing? Isn't it disgusting that she has to be this amazing? I'm here, first of all, to uh, pass a message of solidarity from Amnesty International members across the world. Today, outside Irish embassies in many countries around the world, Amnesty members are holding vigils calling for Ireland to repeal the Eighth Amendment and change its abortion laws. Right around the world today, that's happening. I'm very proud to be able to stand on this stage uh, um, and just in awe of the work of activists, women's activists, women's rights activists who have worked for decades now to secure a time in this country where we could finally have an honest, objective, reasoned, compassionate discussion about abortion. And I'm here to say to those who want to, who have an investment in maintaining the vitriol, the hatefulness, the violence of previous debates, your time is over. We're moving on. Today, 10 to 12 women and girls will leave this country to travel to England and Wales to have abortions. Every year, 4,000 women and girls travel to England and Wales to have abortions that we know of. Those are the minimum numbers. 177,000 women and girls since 1971. If those who oppose progress in this area believe that they stop abortions from happening, they're either deluded or dishonest. Either way, it's time to move past their narrative. Our laws criminalize, stigmatize, and, tra and, and traumatize women and girls. Our sisters, our mothers, our friends, our daughters. It's time that we stood finally to demand respect for their rights. And I have one message to give to politicians who right now are telling us that they believe that progress is necessary in this area, but it's perhaps a time off. We can't wait. Enough is enough. Our government knows, this government knows, and every previous government has known that the laws that they stand over violate the human rights of women and girls in this country. They know this for a fact. Their job is to legislate. It is not good enough to say that the time is, right not, is, is not right now. The time may not be right now for you, but the time is right now for us, for the Irish people. So it's time for political leadership. It's time to catch up with the majority of Irish people who want to see progressive laws in Ireland on abortion. It's time to catch up with the 81% of people in this country who want to see abortion laws that require the repeal of the Eighth Amendment. And any politician who doesn't recognize that an 80% support for an initiative suggests it's time, it's beyond time, Ireland, repeal the Eighth Amendment, respect the human rights of women and girls, ensure that we have access to safe and legal abortion in Ireland now. And one final message to those who oppose us. I am frankly sick to my stomach of hearing the other side in this debate point to the UK as the place of all hell and of no virtue ignoring the rank hypocrisy of a position that they've adopted that forced women and girls from this country to travel to that country every day, month on month, year on year. The time for that hypocrisy is over. It's time that Ireland respected its women and girls. It's time that Ireland provided for their human rights. We must do this and we must do it now. Thank you.